close out there, obviously uh, doing the relative compression test. Quick and easy, right? It also can be misleading if you uh, if one cylinder is a little bit lower than the others, like in the screenshot that I'll post. So that was taken on a 2004 Nissan Titan. One cylinder is a little bit lower than the other. It does have a misfire. It had a P0301 misfire code, cylinder one misfire. First thing I did, grabbed the, break, the breakout box, the bob, did the RC test with the voltage reading inverted. Okay, so I swapped the two leads. And you can see that one is just a little bit lower. So I wanted to get an amperage measurement of the coils and kind of go from there. So let me show you what we got here. We are hooked in to this ground right here in the front. That is the ground for the coils. Okay, I have a 30 amp clamp on it, a Pico clamp. So we are checking all the coils at one time. Okay, so here is the coils. And you can see this coil right here is cylinder number one. It is bad, okay? All these other coils are pulling roughly seven amps. This coil down here is pulling 1.749 amps. Okay, so that is a bad coil. But I also wanted to show you the blue is battery voltage, okay? And every time because this coil still does fire even though the amperage is off but it's an intermittent misfire and every time that these spikes is actually when it is misfiring so you can see just by the battery voltage alone when the misfire is occurring and if we line this up with the bad coil it gives you an idea of the misfires. Here it is not misfiring. Come over here, we have misfires again. Okay, so obviously this thing is getting, it is getting a coil. It does have a bad coil. And we are replacing it with an OE coil, so. Pretty quick and easy, but don't forget cylinder wash. Cylinder wash can affect the RC test. Does not mean that it is mechanically bad inside that cylinder, especially when it is that that close to being a failed RC test. You know that is yes, it is that one hump is a little bit lower compared to the others, but it's just a little bit, and that's only about a 10% difference between a good cylinder. And that 10% can be, if that coil is not firing and that fuel is getting into the, that cylinder, it, it, that fuel is washing down that cylinder. So it is affecting the sealing of that cylinder. Needs a coil, gonna put some plugs in it. It's got 187,000, it looks like OE plugs. Uh, and that's it, that's all she wrote on this. So just remember, you know, continue testing. If you are not sure, continue testing. Do not, just off a failed RC test, condemn anything. You know, that that's the starting point and you keep going. Keep going until you pinpoint exactly what's going on with the issue. Leaking valve, leaking piston rings. Um, you know, it, it, the list goes on. So, always verify, Cody's Auto Diagnostic. I am signing out.